We're back with more tributes here on our channel Celebrity Legacy. In this tribute video, we bring a list of American legends who died today and recently in the last few days. Legends who somehow contributed to their respective works and today, unfortunately, ended up passing away. Condolences to the family and fans rest in peace. Before we dive in, we would like to kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals has touched your life, please consider giving it a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. Chauncey Glover was a respected American television anchor and journalist known for his dynamic reporting and compassionate storytelling. Raised in Athens, Alabama, Glover pursued a career in journalism, obtaining a degree in broadcast journalism and music from Troy University. His career began at WTVM in Columbus, Georgia, but he rose to prominence as an anchor and reporter in Detroit at WDIV Local 4, where he earned recognition for covering important community issues. In recent years, Glover was a beloved figure at KTRK-TV's ABC 13 in Houston, Texas, where he made a significant impact. Notably, he founded the Chauncey Glover Project, an initiative that provided mentorship and support to young men, promoting educational and personal development. This project highlighted his dedication beyond journalism, emphasizing his commitment to community empowerment. Tragically, Chauncey Glover passed away at the age of 39. Remembered for his professionalism, kindness, and passion for storytelling, Glover's legacy endures as a beacon of journalistic integrity and community dedication. Bernard Bernie Marcus was a prominent American businessman and philanthropist, best known as a co-founder of The Home Depot, which became the largest home improvement retailer in the U.S., Born on May 12, 1929, in Newark, New Jersey, Marcus grew up in a working-class Jewish family. He began his career in retail, working for various companies before being fired from his executive position at Handy Dan in 1978. This setback inspired him, alongside Arthur Blank, to launch the Home Depot in 1979 revolutionizing the industry with a large-scale do-it-yourself retail model. Marcus's success with Home Depot earned him billionaire status and enabled him to focus on philanthropy. He donated millions to healthcare, medical research, veterans' causes, and Jewish organizations. His charitable legacy includes significant contributions to the creation of the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta, Marcus passed away from natural causes at his home in Boca Raton, Florida, on November 4, 2024, at the age of 95. Leaving a legacy not only as a visionary businessman, but also as a devoted philanthropist whose impact reached far beyond the boardroom, enhancing countless lives across diverse communities. Tika Nelson, born on May 18, 1960 was an American singer-songwriter and the younger sister of music icon Prince. Raised in Minneapolis, Nelson showed a passion for music from an early age, inspired by the musical talent that ran in her family. She pursued her own career in the industry, releasing several albums throughout her life, including Royal Blue, 1988, and A Brand New Me, 2008. Known for her soulful voice and expressive lyrics, Nelson's work explored themes of love, self-discovery, and spirituality, resonating deeply with her fans. Though often in the shadow of her famous brother, Taika forged her unique path, performing in live shows and occasionally collaborating with other artists. After Prince's death in 2016, she became a key figure in managing his legacy, honoring his memory through her music and personal tributes. Tyka Nelson passed away at North Memorial Hospital in Robbinsdale, Minnesota, on November 4, 2024, at the age of 64, leaving behind a heartfelt legacy. Her contributions to music and dedication to preserving her family's artistic heritage continue to inspire fans and loved ones worldwide. Terry Garr was an acclaimed American actress known for her remarkable comedic talent and versatility on screen. 
She rose to fame in the 1970s and 1980s, earning widespread recognition for her role as Inga in Young Frankenstein, 1974, and as Sandy in The Conversation, 1974. Gar's unique charm and wit made her a standout performer, and her portrayal of a struggling actress in Tootsie, 1982, earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Throughout her career, Gar starred in numerous popular films, including Close Encounters of the Third Kind, 1977, Oh God, 1977, and Mr. Mom, 1983, leaving an indelible mark on comedy and drama alike. In addition to her screen work, she was a tireless advocate for multiple sclerosis awareness after publicly disclosing her own diagnosis in 2002. Terry Garr passed away from complications of multiple sclerosis at her home in Los Angeles, surrounded by family and friends, on October 29, 2024, at the age of 79. Her legacy as a talented actress and advocate endures, and she remains beloved by fans and colleagues alike for her unforgettable contributions to film. Gerard Mustaf was an American professional basketball player best known for his time in the NBA and international leagues. Born on October 28, 1969 in Whiteville, North Carolina, Mustaf played college basketball at the University of Maryland, where he showcased impressive skills as a power forward. He was selected as the 17th overall pick by the New York Knicks in the 1990 NBA draft, marking the start of his professional career. Mustaf played in the NBA for several seasons, including stints with the Phoenix Suns, before moving on to a successful international career in Europe, Asia, and Latin America. His tenacity on the court and versatility helped him adapt to different playing styles globally, building a reputation as a dedicated and skilled player. After retiring from basketball, Mustaf was active in community work, focusing on youth mentorship and social initiatives. Sadly, he passed away on October 28, 2024, on his 55th birthday, leaving a legacy as both an athlete and community advocate. His impact extended beyond the court, remembered for his contributions to sports and society. Phil Lesh, the influential American musician and bassist of the Grateful Dead, was born on March 15, 1940, in Berkeley, California. Known for pioneering the role of bass guitar in rock music, Lesh brought an improvisational jazz-inspired approach to the instrument, contributing to the Dead's iconic and experimental sound. Initially trained in classical music, he transitioned to electric bass under the encouragement of band co-founder Jerry Garcia. Lesh's bass lines became a distinctive element of the band, blending counter melodies and harmonic depth that helped shape the psychedelic rock genre. With the Grateful Dead, Lesh toured extensively from the 1960s until their last concert in 1995, amassing a loyal fan base known as Deadheads. Beyond the band, he continued to perform with various ensembles, including Phil Lesh and Friends, further experimenting with rock and jazz fusion and keeping the spirit of the dead alive. He passed away on October 25, 2024, at the age of 84. He is celebrated as a true innovator whose influence endures. Jonathan Hayes, born on April 1, 1929, was an American actor and producer known for his work in low-budget B-movies, particularly in the 1950s and 1960s. Hayes began his career with small roles in films before catching the eye of cult filmmaker Roger Corman. He became one of Corman's regulars, appearing in memorable films such as It Conquered the World, 1956, and The Terror, 1963. His most notable role was as Seymour Krelborn in the dark comedy The Little Shop of Horrors, 1960, where he played a clumsy florist who discovers a carnivorous plant, a character that became iconic over the years. Aside from acting, Hayes occasionally worked behind the scenes as a producer and writer. He contributed to the cult status of several films within the horror comedy genre, which later inspired remakes and adaptations. 
Jonathan Hayes passed away at his home in Los Angeles on November 2, 2024, at the age of 95. His legacy as a pioneer in low-budget, imaginative filmmaking remains influential, celebrated by fans of classic horror and campy cinema. Jack Jones was an acclaimed American singer and actor celebrated for his smooth baritone voice and timeless renditions of pop and jazz standards. The son of actors Alan Jones and Irene Hervey, Jones rose to fame in the 1960s, earning Grammy Awards for hits like Lollipops and Roses and Wives and Lovers. His polished vocal style and elegant interpretations of classic songs made him a favorite in concert halls, cabarets, and on television. Jones released numerous albums across his six-decade career, performing both original works and renditions of popular standards, often compared to other great vocalists of his era, like Frank Sinatra and Tony Bennett. Apart from music, he made appearances in television shows and films, adding acting to his repertoire. Despite changing music trends, Jones remained a dedicated performer, touring and recording well into his later years. Jack Jones passed away from leukemia at Eisenhower Medical Center in Rancho Mirage, California, on October 23, 2024, at the age of 86. He is remembered for his exceptional contributions to music, which left an indelible mark on American popular culture. Jack Caldwell was an acclaimed Australian singer-songwriter known for his emotive, genre-blurring music and raw storytelling. Born in Sydney, Caldwell developed an early interest in music, drawing inspiration from both classical and pop influences. His unique style, blending dramatic orchestration with indie pop sensibilities, garnered a dedicated following. Caldwell's debut album, Swan Dream, released in 2020, was widely praised for its haunting melodies and introspective lyrics, touching on themes of vulnerability, self-acceptance, and resilience. Songs like In My Dreams and A Spell highlighted his powerful vocals and lyrical depth, resonating with audiences in Australia and beyond. Caldwell was also celebrated for his energetic live performances and authenticity, often connecting deeply with fans through his personal storytelling and openness about mental health struggles. Tragically, he passed away at the age of 34, leaving a profound impact on the Australian music community. Caldwell's music continues to inspire and comfort listeners, leaving behind a legacy of artistry and sincerity that touched many lives. Sissy Houston was an iconic American singer celebrated for her powerful voice and significant influence on gospel, soul, and R&B music. She began her career in gospel music, performing with family members as part of the Drinkard Singers. Later, she joined the Sweet Inspirations, a renowned backup group that worked with artists like Aretha Franklin and Elvis Presley. Houston's voice and soulful delivery earned her a successful solo career, with gospel albums that won her two Grammy Awards. In addition to her musical accomplishments, Sissy Houston is recognized as the mother of Whitney Houston, one of the best-selling music artists of all time. She played a pivotal role in nurturing Whitney's talent and remained a source of strength for her daughter throughout her career. She passed away at her home in Newark on October 7, 2024, at the age of 91. She had been in hospice care for Alzheimer's disease, leaving a legacy of gospel and soul music that inspired generations. Her contributions to music and her enduring influence continue to resonate deeply in the industry and among fans worldwide. Today, breaking news. Michael J. Fox, the beloved Canadian-American actor known for his roles in Back to the Future and Family Ties, has recently been the subject of false death rumors, which frequently circulate about public figures, especially those battling health issues. These rumors are completely unfounded, as Fox remains alive, though he has been vocal about his ongoing challenges with Parkinson's disease, which he was diagnosed with in 1991 at just 29 years old. 
His candidness about living with Parkinson's has made him a symbol of resilience and advocacy in the fight for a cure, inspiring millions worldwide. Fox's career began in the 1970s, but he rose to fame in the 1980s with his portrayal of Alex P. Keaton on Family Ties, a role that won him three Emmy Awards. His star power continued with the Back to the Future trilogy, where his character Marty McFly became iconic. Even after his Parkinson's diagnosis, he continued acting in series like Spin City, where he won another Emmy, and The Michael J. Fox Show, which brought humor and insight into life with Parkinson's. Since partially stepping back from acting, Fox has focused heavily on the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research, which has raised over $1 billion for research. Despite his health struggles, Fox's legacy is one of optimism, determination, and impact, both through his work in entertainment and his contributions to medical research. These recent death rumors underscore the public's deep interest in Fox's well-being and enduring legacy.